Von Allen Sports. I'm trying to figure out why it is that everybody has jumped on Patrick Mahomes as the greatest of all time so quickly. I think Mahomes is great. I don't understand, though. He's played like three seasons. Why is it, do you think, he has become the lead horse now in the in the GOAT discussion here to, to replace Brady? I mean, outside of the fact that everybody just hates Brady in the media. Okay. Well, there's, there's three major reasons. One of them, number one, is to oppose Brady, like you just said. But you said it's also the NFL wanting that because they know that Brady's not always going to be there and they need a new face. They need a new uh, somebody, so they're going to push for that. And the third is the media right now, the way the media works these days, especially social media and all of the ESPN and FS1 shows that we're talking about, you know, like I was just talking about Stephen A. Smith, for example. It's everything is a payoff right now like everything is an over-the-top take now and that's the kind of mentality yeah. of society at this moment you know i mean one thing happens in the news and uh th something that's isolated for example and next thing we know uh we're passing legislation in the government affecting the whole country because of one right. incident that happened in some state that nobody even knows what's going on you know um, right. but it's it's like that with sports too. So one thing happens and then the whole league is changing its entire form because of that. And I think that's also a problem. So that's the deal with Mahomes and people are prisoners of the moment. Patrick Mahomes is a fantastic quarterback. He's amazing. And he seems like a really great guy, right? In very much the same way that Tom Brady was when he was young. Yeah, Patrick comes I across very think... mature, but he's, he's, he's got his head on straight. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. He, mm -hmm. he seems like a great guy pretty thoughtful you know he doesn't he doesn't just talk out of his ass right and he's he's respectful of everybody and he, he tends to just keep his personal life personal it's great the yeah. greatest most talented person see when they start saying things like that when someone says qualifying he's, it. he's the most talented uh, quarterback who's ever played he's the best thrower of the football i've ever seen oh he passes the eye test you know what all that means that means that you have no realistic accomplishments to support your argument on why he's the best of all time. So you sure. say that shit. I don't have to say anything about Brady other than here's his resume. Beat it. For instance, in the Super Bowl, they, they talk about how Patrick Mahomes ran for like, what was that, like 400 yards or something before he threw the football, right? Something stupid. My, my thing there is... Why are you running around so much, you stupid cunt, right? Like, <laughs> throw the damn ball, right? Get rid of it or run run across the line of scrimmage. Like, I don't – Tom Brady never would have let that happen. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. And, and how much time did, did Patrick Mahomes kill in that Super Bowl – the more time he's running around trying to make something happen, the closer he gets the Buccaneers to a Super to a Super Bowl victory. And he's you know I mean? out of, his offensive line is gassed as hell by the half by half right. time. Like, why not just get rid of the fucking ball? You know what I mean? Like, and Be, and again, because like, he, he can't he can't read defenses. You see, so right. he, what what his problem is is that it's all athleticism. When you're young like that and you're you're athletic like that, you're trying to use your physical skills and not your mental ones. Brett Favre was a victim of this too. Okay, yeah, I yes. know he won he won some MVPs, but which Brett Favre would you rather have? Ninety six MVP Favre or first year Vikings Favre? Okay. Oh. <laughs> I mean, for yeah, me, no, first year Vikings. I want the Vikings Favre because he was smarter. Yeah. Oh, up until yes. the very last game. But for the season, yeah. the dude was still far. He could still boom, boom, boom. But he was being smart with everything. He'd seen everything. Okay? Yeah. So he, he learned that he can't just be all far all the time, like the 90s far. Right. He can't be all that. He's got to get smarter. But these guys rely on that. and But then they learn throughout their career that they have to change. Look at Michael Vick. Imagine if Michael Vick had taken the quarterback position seriously, like he did with the Eagles. When sure. he was a Falcon. When he was in Atlanta? Yeah. Imagine if Eagles, Eagles Vic was 0102 Falcons Vic. Sure. All right. So, yeah. But they, they come into the league with just, oh, I've got these physical gifts. So 
Does Mahomes think he's good enough? To, you know, uh, too good that he doesn't have to study. He doesn't have to read the playbook. He does. Now, I'm not saying he doesn't do that. That's going extreme. What I'm saying is, sure. does he study like Brady? Does he study like Peyton? And that that's what he needs to start doing. And I don't even think Andy re- requires that of him. I think it's a different situation. But he's going to have to eventually. And and quarterbacks who run, first of all, they're not thinking about check downs and you know what the third option or fourth option sure. is. And then on top of that, the, the the running quarterback is more likely to get injured. It's so, also it's also legal to hit you as if you're a running back. And who are all the Iron Man guys? You know, usually like Peyton. How many games did he go without missing? Eli Manning. You know, Tom. There, Philip Rivers. Dude, Patrick Mahomes. Every single time he gets hit. He gets up awkward. Go watch, He's not go watch any one. any Chiefs game. Any I, I pick him at random. You see him get get just a sack. Get sacked. He's going to get up all funny looking and weird looking. Like he's not going to last if that keeps going. So no, he's not. Aaron don't like it. Move asks if Mahomes never had Kelsey, Tyreek, and Andy Reid, how does he do? Mahomes could literally be just one of those. Just one of those quarterbacks that go in the first round that nobody gives a shit about. Nobody hears from. Could have ended up like Vince Young. If he ends up on a, a shitty team with Jeff Fisher as your coach or something. That's how it works. But no, he got Andy Reid. He got to sit a year behind Alex Smith. And Alex Smith helped him. Alex Smith actually put effort into helping him. He had great teammates. Great players. And that's not a, that's not a knock on Mahomes. You still got to take what you're given. And you've got to make it work. You've got to make it happen. Not anybody can do what Mahomes does. You can't just throw any guy on Kansas City and hope to throw 50 touchdowns and hope to win a Super Bowl and, and, and get back to the Super Bowl and all that. You can't, you can't just throw anybody in there. That's not how it works. It still took Patrick Mahomes to have some talent and be good. But at the same time, if he goes to a shit team with no good coach, no good players, He's never even going to be able to be given the opportunity to even show that he's good or that even the chance to be coached up and improve. So it's all about situation. Yeah, I, I, I don't I don't get the Mahomes praise about Super Bowl 55. I've never seen a guy get his ass kissed so much for losing a game and, and not just losing, but lost bad. For a guy as advertised the whole team, they couldn't even get in the end zone. That's a, that's some pretty bad football. For what everyone is telling us they are. We couldn't get into the end zone. At least the 07 Patriots got into the end zone. At least the 2013 uh, Broncos, even though they got their asses kicked by Seattle, they eventually got to the end zone. But the Chiefs couldn't even get there. Wow. So, that is the greatest pass I've ever seen that was almost completed. Did you see him running around like like Justin said it perfect a while ago in such eloquent words? You know, throw the ball. What is wrong with you? Why are you running around? Why is he getting credit for running around? Do you guys understand that the more you run around, the worse it's it, it is on the offensive line? This is the problem with having quarterbacks who are the best athletes on the team. Stop doing that shit. It's not your job to be the athlete. The offensive line is there to protect you, to give you a long enough time to get rid of the damn ball, to put it in the hands of somebody else. All right? It's not their job to run around downfield forever on every single play, or even even worse, to run laterally, so you can sit there and do all this bullshit, this hero ball stuff. You're going to wear them out. You're killing them. By halftime, they're going to feel like they already played a whole game. That's not impressive. That's not impressive. You want to impress me, get rid of the ball. Get it in people's hands. Distribute it. If people think that that's cool that he ran around for over 400 yards. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Now, it would be cool if those yards were forward progress. If, 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 you're, if those are positive yards, net yards, yeah, that's impressive. But it wasn't. It's just a bunch of running around bullshit. Everybody said, oh, he he didn't have his offensive line. He, but you didn't help him either. 
you had these guys running around like idiots trying to protect you. So he gets no none of the blame for that. You can't you can't blame him. Bon Allen Sports.